Modern automotive engines as we know them today are a highly developed mechanism dependent on an ignition system supplying an adequate source of electrical energy. A system capable of delivering thousands of accurately timed high voltage surges each minute. In the interests of efficient and economic performance, we present this graphic story of an ignition system and the importance of spark plugs in the successful operation of an automotive engine. A mixture of fuel and air compressed in a cylinder is ignited by a high voltage current arcing across a gap between the electrodes of a spark plug. The source of an ignition current is either a magneto or a battery. If a magneto is used, it is usually a self-contained unit, mechanically driven, generating and distributing the high voltage current. When current is obtained from a battery, its voltage is very weak and cannot arc across a very small gap in the circuit. In order to arc across the gap of a spark plug under operating conditions, the voltage must be over a thousand times as powerful as the battery voltage. To accomplish this, an ignition coil is used. An ignition coil consists of, first, an iron core around which is wound a wire connected to the battery. This is called the primary. Around the primary is wound another wire called the secondary, not connected to the primary or to the core. When this primary circuit is broken suddenly, a powerful voltage is induced for an instant in the secondary. This voltage is powerful enough to arc across the gap in the secondary. This secondary is connected to the spark plug. The time at which the spark is required is near the top of the compression stroke of the piston. Now, the four strokes are intake, compression, firing or power, exhaust. Intake, compression, firing or power, exhaust. A mechanical circuit breaker is used instead of a switch. It consists of a one-lobe breaker cam and a breaker arm. Each time the points break, a spark occurs at the gap of the spark plug. In a multiple cylinder engine, a multiple lobe cam is used. A rotor attached to the multiple cam distributes the high voltage to the terminals in the distributor cap. These terminals, in turn, are connected by ignition cables to their respective spark plugs. Self-induced currents in the primary winding cause arcing across the breaker points as they open. resulting in an irregular flow of current and a weak spark at the gap of the spark plugs. To eliminate this arcing at the breaker points, a condenser is used. 
A condenser consists of a series of compressed sheets of metal foil carefully insulated, shown here in this simplified form. The alternate layers of metal foil are joined together and in turn connected across the breaker point. As the breaker points open, the self-induced current of the primary winding is stored in the condenser, eliminating arcing at the points. Every time the points close, the stored current is discharged into the primary circuit. This action of the condenser causes a clean, sharp break at the points, prolonging their life and producing a strong spark at the gap of the spark plug. This condenser is usually attached to the distributor. The outside casing completes the ground circuit and the lead terminates at the insulated breaker point. Thus the ignition system performs its job of taking the low battery voltage and transforming it in the ignition coil to a voltage a thousand times greater. This high voltage is distributed by the distributor to the spark plugs, which in turn ignite the fuel-air mixture. Spark plugs, a very important part of the ignition system, are designed for service within specific heat ranges. They are rated according to their ability to dissipate heat from the tip of the insulator to the cooling water. Hot plugs, because of their ability to retain heat, are used for cool engines. Note the long distance the heat must travel from the tip of the insulator to the cooling water. Cold plugs, because of their ability to dissipate heat quickly, are used for hot engines. The heat must travel but a short distance from the tip of the insulator to the cooling water. This comparison shows the long heat path in the hot plug as compared to the short heat path in the cold plug. Perfect ignition occurs at the correctly timed point near the top of the compression stroke. The insulator and electrodes are exposed to intense heat of combustion. In too hot a spark plug, the insulator or electrodes may overheat and ignite the gas before the spark occurs, causing pre-ignition. This results in loss of speed and power, a sluggish action of the motor, which materially reduces its operating efficiency, and is indicated by a knocking or a pinging sound. Fouling may be caused by the use of too cold a spark plug, which allows the meeting of condensed carbon on the shoulder of the insulator with crusted carbon forming on the tip. This results in short circuiting over the surface of the insulator, creating a weakened spark, an occasional miss, and eventually leads to complete failure. Besides pre-ignition and fouling, Spark plugs that leak or blow by are one of the major causes of poor engine performance. Spark plugs of conventional design use a baked liquid cement to hold the center electrode in place. The strain of constant uneven expansion and contraction between the center electrode and the insulator and the effect of heat eventually disintegrates the cement, resulting in leakage of hot compressed gases up to several hundred cubic centimeters per minute past the center electrode. Because of unequal expansion between the shell and insulator, leakage also occurs here. This combined leakage or blowtorch effect results in overheated electrodes, overheated insulator, often causing pre-ignition, cracked insulators, corroded and burned electrodes, 
and worst of all, overheating of the spark plug itself, throwing it out of its proper heat range. In this spark plug, troublesome leakage has been eliminated by the use of a new patented seal silment. The silment, a dry powder, is compressed around the center electrode and between the insulator and shell. This scientific sealing definitely keeps the plug within the specified heat range for which it is designed, thereby eliminating pre-ignition, service troubles, compression loss, and early electrode destruction. This patented feature of sealing spark plugs contributes materially to balanced ignition and economic performance. Continued usage deposits carbon on the insulator and pits the electrodes, which weakens the spark. Without a full intense spark, power is lost because the fuel mixture is not completely ignited. Consequently, not all of it is burned and the portion of the unburned gas either goes out through the exhaust or down the cylinder walls into the crankcase, thinning out the oil. There are, however, a number of contributing causes which may create fouling. Loose pistons, faulty rings, valves and tappets, weak battery, faulty coil, faulty condenser, worn distributor points, improper gap setting, faulty cables, dirty oil, inferior fuel, overchoking, and improper carburetor adjustment. Use hot plugs for a cold motor to prevent fouling and cold plugs for a hot motor to prevent pre-ignition. When spark plugs are removed from an engine, first blow off any loose dirt and dust that might fall into the engine. This may prevent scoring of cylinder walls. It is as important to use the proper sized wrench for removing a spark plug as it is for installing it. A periodic check, cleaning and regapping of spark plugs materially contributes to better engine performance. Careful attention to servicing procedure involves a thorough knowledge in interpreting engine conditions from the appearance of the spark plugs. Wooden or metal holders make for easier handling and prevent unnecessary damage to plugs while servicing. Plugs in for first inspection normally require only a brief cleaning and a gap check. A plug coated with a wet, shiny black deposit indicates oil fouling due to leaky or worn piston rings, sloppy pistons, or sticking valves. A dry, fluffy black deposit indicates gas fouling. This results from too rich a mixture, improper choke or carburetor adjustment, or maybe from using an improper type of plug. Split insulators usually indicate the plug is too hot for the particular engine. Badly worn and pitted electrodes also indicate too hot a plug. Cracked insulators like this are due only to careless handling and are usually caused by a slipping wrench. Oily plugs should first be degreased in a suitable solvent. Wipe off any grease or dirt on the surface of the insulator. A small stiff brush is desirable for cleaning out any remaining oil inside of the shell or on the tip of the insulator. A short blast of air removes all solvent and thoroughly dries the plugs. They must be dry before starting the cleaning operation. Now for the cleaning of the plugs.
Install the particular rubber adapter needed. Insert the plug in the adapter. Attaching the air hose, blow in a sufficient amount of abrasive material to clean the firing end of the plug. Three to five seconds are usually enough. It is important at this point to blow out any remains of the abrasive material. It is seldom necessary to clean for a longer period of time. Prolonged and repeated blasting wears away the insulator and alters its design, changing its heat characteristic and impairs the insulator and electrode surfaces. When cleaning, wobble the plug. Remember, three to five seconds are usually sufficient. In order to properly seat the plug, the threads should be cleaned. If using a wire buffing wheel, care should be taken not to damage the electrodes or the tip of the insulator when removing carbon from the threads. If a fine wire brush is used, a few strokes are usually sufficient. Clean threads, like gaskets, are a means of dissipating heat from the spark plug into the cylinder head. Carbon-coated threads materially reduce and retard the heat flow, tending to cause overheating and pre-ignition. The sparking surfaces of the electrodes are next cleaned. The general cleaning process does not always reach all surfaces of the electrodes because of their construction. A few strokes of a small thin file are all that's necessary to remove any remaining corrosion or oxide deposits. Be sure to dress the gap area to secure flat parallel surfaces on both center and side electrode. When electrodes are badly pitted or corroded, it is difficult to make proper gap adjustments due to the thinness and weakness of the metal. Such plugs should be discarded. Gaps should be checked with a gap gauge and reset to manufacturer's specifications. When resetting the gap, bend the side wire or ground electrode only. Any attempt to bend the center electrode causes stresses that will eventually result in a split insulator. Blow out the firing end of the plug to make sure that no filings or other foreign matter remain. After a spark plug has been regapped, it should be tested. The compression tester should be connected to an ample source of compressed clean dry air capable of delivering at least 120 pounds of air. Use the air pressures recommended when testing plugs of a given gap. The gap of this plug is set at 25 one thousandths of an inch. Start the pressure at 90 pounds. Carefully observe the sparking characteristics of the plug. A good plug will spark continuously without flicker or miss. To make certain that the plug will fire under all operating limits, gradually increase the pressure to 120 pounds. If the spark at the gap set at 25 one thousandths of an inch continues steady under this increased pressure, it is ready for further efficient service in an engine. Although the gap of a plug may be properly set and the electrode suitable for further use, Unseen damage is clearly indicated when the plug is tested under pressure. Observe the irregular sparking of this plug. Although the gap is properly set and electrode suited for further use, the intermittent sparking clearly indicates unseen damage. The plug is unsuited for further use and should be replaced.
consult your chart for the correct size and type. Remember, a steady, intense spark without flicker or miss is required for dependable and efficient engine performance. Plugs should also be checked for compression leakage or blow-by. Previously, we have shown the causes and results of this condition. Use a light oil to cover the shoulder and the top of the plug where the center electrode and terminal project from the insulator. The turbulent bubbling action of the oil indicates leakage. Excessive leakage, as shown here, indicates that the spark plug should be replaced. The patented Silment seal eliminates troublesome leakage. This assures that this spark plug will remain within the desired heat range, eliminating pre-ignition and rough engine performance. Wipe off the oil after testing for leakage. These plugs are now ready for further use. Proper installation is as important as proper servicing. All gasket seats and threads in the cylinder head should be free from carbon or dirt. It is desirable to use new gaskets. They have a twofold purpose, sealing the plug against compression loss and providing a means of dissipating heat from the spark plug. A gasket not properly compressed will cause leakage and overheating. This throws the spark plug out of its proper heat range and may cause pinging or pre-ignition. A properly seated gasket shows a clean, even surface, thus giving effective compression seal. First, screw in the plug finger tight against the gasket. Use a socket wrench of the correct size and tighten up the plug one half to three quarters of a turn. A torque wrench combined with a proper socket avoids damage to the plug. Consult your chart for the proper amount of pressure to be applied. Remember the performance of an automotive engine depends entirely on the care and service you give it. Proper servicing of spark plugs, correct cleaning procedure, proper gaps, careful installation, all contribute to better engine performance, economy, and efficiency. Always use dependable spark plugs.